December and I'm sure many of you have holiday parties or events coming up so I thought I would do a flirty curl tutorial for you today. I am using the T3 iron with the one inch barrel attached so this is the clipless barrel so it's essentially a wand. Um, it's not tapered at the end so I'll get the same curl pattern throughout. The tapered ones that are pointier at the end just give you a little bit more of like that classic mermaid curl where it gets nice and tight around the tips but this one will be uniform throughout. My hair has been blown dry and then I pulled it back in a ponytail just because I was with the boys this morning so if my ends look a little frayed it's just because of that but I'll be able to sort of run the barrel over them and smooth them out and I am going to pull it up into three sections. So this first section is from my temples all the way around to the back. I'm just slipping two duckbill clips in to keep that up. The next section will be from my ears all the way around to the back. And I will leave the nape down and we will start there. When you're sectioning, if you can see your scalp in your partings, that means it's a good section and you won't run into the issue of some hairs falling out and you not knowing what section to pick up. So I like wearing the glove. Not only does it protect from heat, but I feel like it gives a really nice grip on the hair and I'm able to hold the section a little bit more cleanly. So my iron is hot, putting it in upside down, just wrapping it around the barrel. So once your hair is curled, rake your fingers through it and soften everything up and blend it together. But I love how like bouncy and fresh these curls are. Great for a holiday party. Also a great foundation if you're going to pull your hair up. But I mean, it'd be a statement if you wear it down. So I think you should wear it down. So I don't need a ton of help in the volume department. And if you don't like teasing, try using a texture powder. I'm using Matrix Height Riser. Uh, and I'm just going to sprinkle this in at my roots and shake it around to add some fullness and lift so my hair doesn't end up falling limp 
but I'm already pretty pleased with the amount of volume I got just from curling alone. A texture powder is also great for adding definition to your curls if you don't have a texture spray. So just tap a little bit of this in your hand, just a little, and then scrunch your curls. And that will keep them from sort of falling into each other and being like this soft, limp curl. Texture powder is gonna give them nice definition. The goal here is touchable curls, so use a flexible hold hairspray. I'm using Amika's Touchable Hairspray, one of my favorite flexible holds. I think curls like this look best with a bright red lip or super fun earrings, um, but you can also keep it simple with your makeup if you have a holiday party to go to because the hair, the hair does a lot of the talking. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. If you want to see any others, you can visit thesmallthingsblog.com.